This is a video of my puzzle making sled, so I'll take it off the saw and I'll show you the details about it. What this sled enables me to do is rip down large pieces of stock into small puzzle pieces. So we'll take a large piece of hardwood like this, which is a, a big piece of paduke. I'll run through the saw initially to get some rough sized sticks, which are approximately like this size maybe. I was making a current puzzle with 0.75 inch cubes. So these I, I cut down to about 0.8, 0.85 with just a standard fence on the table saw. And then once we get them close, we're able to put them into this jig and square them up even further. They hold, they have a toggle clamp so I can keep my hands away from the blade and just make my cuts. And these screws on the back will let me adjust the position of this block to the blade. So I can move it up to say 0.78 inches, clamp it in place, make a cut on this side, spin it, make a cut on this side, and then bring it into 0.75. And with my new cut edges, I'll put those against the little stops, clamp it, make my final cuts, and end up with sticks that are perfectly sized. When it comes to cross cutting my sticks to make these into cubes, what I do is I butt them against this micro adjustable fence. So how this works, so on the back side, there's four bolts which I tap into this maple block on the back, and that lets me adjust this micro fence till it's perfectly square with the blade, and then these bolts lock into place into the array of holes on the table, which are all threaded. To get the blocks perfectly sized, what I'll do is I'll use a scrap piece and put it against this stop block which is held in place by these two uh, screws, bolts with a bunch of washers on them. Uh, I'll set it you know, with a, a tape measure or a caliper to about 0.75, a little over. I'll make a, a test cut in a piece of wood and then I'll measure the little block and then from there I'll adjust it you know, just tap, loosening it and just tapping it slightly until I get it exactly to where I want it. And then I'll take my good stock and run through. You just gotta be mindful to clear the sawdust out of there because uh, after every cut, you're gonna get a little bit in there and that's gonna ruin your accuracy, especially when you're trying to shoot for a thousandth of an inch. Every little bit makes a difference. And that's all there is to it. Make a cut. You know, I stop the saw and pull the block out so I don't you know, pull it back and fling out or whatever. I could put a probably a little stop or a hold down there and then I'd be able to make multiple cuts and take them out. And uh, works really well. So you can see the puzzle in my next video that I made with this saw.